born with a natural born gift. He's a bioenergist and he began his healing career at a very early age by healing his mother's face and pain. In recent years, Richard has fine-tuned his abilities so that it can be used to help people stop obsessive habits, obsessive behaviors such as overeating and smoking. There are also been cases where his feelings have gone beyond just pain and have eliminated such physical problems as tumors, paralysis, and cancer. He has the ability to receive people's arms, affecting physical, mental, and emotional blockages. And he can remove these blockages in the aura and in the process removing the pain or the obsession. With the release of his new book, the magic of psychic healing and upcoming seminars, Richard is eager to share his healing techniques and with the general public. Please join me in giving Richard a warm Thank you. welcome. I'm sure he is much here. Thank you. Well, I have about 50 minutes, and I'm going to try to go real fast. First of all, I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to show you, and I might be lying. It's possible, but I'm going to show you what seems to work and what causes illness. How would you like to know what's holding you back? How would you like to know why, whenever you've tried to stop smoking or lose weight, it kind of maybe worked and then it didn't? What about your clients who come to you, and you end up helping them, and then three weeks later they're back smoking again? What is that phenomena? Why does that stuff happen? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to show you how, basically, we found this process that occurs. And we're going to find out what that mechanism is. Then we're going to show you some techniques to release it. There are essentially three basic methods I use. I'll do some demonstrations of bioenergy, where without touching you, we can get rid of your aches and pains like this. It is the most incredible, and in fact, it is probably going to be, within about the next three years, a major, major movement in the realms of hypnotherapy, healing, and quite a few other areas. Let me begin by asking this question. Imagine that you decide you want money, and you're going to get that money, and you're going to walk over anybody it takes to get that money, and then suddenly somebody comes along and kills you and takes your money, or hurts you, or steals it from you, or does something else. What kind of a thought would you think about money? What kind of thoughts would you have about money? Negative. Okay, negative. Give me a negative. What would it be? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's gone. Excellent. Thank you. Let's imagine you have a relationship. Okay? Everybody's always got problems with relationships, you know. So let's say, for example, the third time you're trying it out again, <laughs> and the person comes along and it's the same problem. Every time I get into a relationship, it's the same problem. Let's say you're a woman and you always seem to have problems with the men you would pull in. What kind of decision might you make about relationships? Okay, could you give me an example of like how you might, like what you might say about that, about relationships when you've gone through something like this? Thank you. Okay, let me show you what the mind mechanism is. It begins like this. First of all, if one thing in all this work, if you've ever discovered it, there is no such thing as reality. All there is is agreement between people. You agree that you're here right now, this is reality. We can alter reality using linguistics, using uh, bioenergy, using uh, hypnotherapy, but here's basically how the mind works. In the beginning, you have, let's say, no thing. You can go any direction. You can go